Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a wonderful day. Happy Tuesday, guys. I hope you all are having an amazing, amazing, amazing Tuesday. Um, Listen, I wanted to come on video. I've already did one video today, and I did a short baby dancing. <laughs> so hopefully you guys had the opportunity to watch and click like on those videos guys i am in here in the midst of dancing i am also designing okay so i wanted to show you all um my designs that i've done for some a few for women and for like older teens or older girls i want to just give you guys a glimpsing uh, or a glimpse of what i have and i also want to tell you guys the way that i have designed it which is for every holiday I, nine times out of 10, design 90% of my baskets so that they will float from holiday to holiday, okay? Of course, I do design some for that specific holiday with Easter on it. I may have something in here with it like that to give you guys an example. But for the most part, like this basket you will see here. Let me bring the camera back down. This basket you will see here, guys, um, which I have duplicated one, two, three, four times. This is a concept that you can use, guys. Um, but this is a basket that if it does not sell for Easter, it will float right on to Mother's Day. So it's basically just an all-occasion basket, okay? Um, these are, now to me, they're ugly, okay? <laughs> but that's just to me. Um, when you are designing, I say this all the time, and it bears repeating all the time. Um, just because it's something you don't like or it's a scent you don't like or a color you don't like, it does not mean that everybody in the world does not like that. It just means that's your preference. But you're not designing for your preference. You're designing to sell to your customers, okay? So, um, these handbags are ugly to me, all right? But hopefully, somebody else will find them attractive and will buy them. These are some handbags that I got from Walmart, gosh, last year was it yeah last year maybe about the ending part of last year or the middle part of last year and um i paid a dollar for these pocketbooks it was either a dollar or two dollars but i'm almost certain that they were one dollar and they were regular like 24.99 i think 24.87 something like that but anyway i paid a dollar then we have these luxury lace shower poofs um these um shower um loofahs bath loofahs Whatever you call them. I call them shower sponges. But the loofahs that um, we got from Dollar General, I paid 50 cents for mine. Here is the sparkling cider, guys. And then I have the big box of Russell Stover chocolate that I got from, um, I got those from Dollar General. I got some from Family Dollar and some from Dollar General. But I'm going ahead and use these because the dates go out of these um, much sooner than the other ones so i'm praying that i get these four sold okay because i think i have four or five boxes of chocolate that's about to expire soon um so i wanted to go ahead and get those out if not then i'm gonna have to take these chocolates out if i don't sell them for easter but i'm praying to the good lord touching and agreeing right now that i sell these um these four baskets that i have just to light with the handbags so we also have a candle inside i have this bath set with a lotion. I think it's like a, um, a foot scrub and some, I don't know, it's like a four piece set. I got that from Pop Shelf for 50 cents. So a really, really cute basket guys. And I have these baskets priced at $65. And my total um, spending was about $6, um, six or $7 on this basket. And I'm selling it for 65. So what a great, great profit that I'll be making off of this. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can do handbags. If you've been following me for the last three years, you know that I use handbags as gift um, baskets. Sometimes I'll just take the handbag, put the items inside, wrap it up and put a bow on it. But of course, the size of this handbag, I could not do it like this. Or I could have, but it would have been very limited space. So hopefully um, during Mother's Day, we'll get to do some of those designs so you guys can see them um exactly how they turn out all right so i think these turned out really really cute and like i said all four of these i did exactly alike the only difference is they have different candles in it okay so we have four of those um and these actually could go for teenagers or for an adult 
Uh, more so, I don't know, the handbag is kind of iffy. It just depends on the um, the style and the um, preference of the woman that this is being bought for. Because to me, those handbags, they look a little bit, I don't know. I'm going to just hush because some folks, you know, may like them and then some people may not. So, I'm going to hush, okay? All right, so this is one for a teenage girl. Um, it has the manicure set with nail dryer um, I got from Dollar General um, with the 90% off. And here is some of the bath bombs I got also 90% off. Um, and then I got my little snacks in here. I got a little um, plush bunny. I have some candies that I got. I also got these from Dollar General, guys. This was part of the after Valentine's sale. And this canvas paint kit. And I think I paid 50 cents for these from the Family Dollar as part of like the Black History, Black Heritage um, line of um, products that they got in. So I got that for 50 cents. And so I'm gonna sell this one. I haven't put a price on this one yet, but this one's gonna probably be about 40 bucks. And I probably spent what, $2, about $3, three, maybe four altogether. So like a $36 profit off of this basket alone. So. I think that's pretty good on that. And last but not least, I'm going to get all of these out into the trailer. It's getting a little dark, so I hope I can get them out there before it gets too dark. Um, and this one I love so much. This is a unicorn thing basket, and I have enough. Um, well, I got tons of unicorns, but I have one more of these unicorn foot slippers, and I have one more of these nail dry your manicure set so i don't know if you can tell or see but i got two things stacked on top of each other this is the la colors nail dryer and nail set and this is the um slippers um it has foot cream we we'll have foot cream and foot scrub okay and then we have the unicorn item so this is what i was showing you guys like some things i put easter related stuff in there and my little sign, it then popped up and it's kind of crooked. But honey, it's going to go. I'm not going to take it out. Um, but this, I have Easter on it. It says, hello, Easter. And then I have a unicorn blanket and a little unicorn chain purse. Um, so I have not priced this one as well. I don't know. Probably about, mm, I probably do about 45 for this one. 45 or $48, something like that. Um, keep in mind, if you are new following me, my Easter baskets, I price them not as much as I do my other baskets. Like a basket um, for Valentine's or Mother's Day, I may spend 5 or $6 in it, and I may charge way more for it than I do for Easter. And I've already went over there in previous videos why I do that. So make sure you watch all of my Easter videos, guys. But I just wanted to show you a little tad bit of what I had going on for today. These are all baskets that I did today. I'm gonna, like I said, put them inside of the trailer so that they'll be ready to hit the streets on Thursday, guys. I'm praying that you all have a very, very successful selling um, holiday for Easter. Um, get out here, make it happen, even on Sunday. If you have the time, go out. If you still have baskets left, still go out on Easter morning. Trust you me, people are gonna still be going to Walmart. People still going to be going to Walgreens looking for Easter stuff. If they find you side the road, you will stop them from going to those places and buying. So I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.